A month has passed, and now it's time to replace the jointed rail with the welded one. Here we see a spike puller lifting the spikes out of the old rail. Once the spikes are pulled, the joint bars are unbolted, one person for each side of the track. Next, someone follows along knocking the bolts out of the joints. Now it's time to remove the old rail itself. A large magnet first gathers the spikes together, then lifts up the rail itself. This rail served the Pennsylvania Railroad, then the Penn Central and Conrail, and now the Louisville and Indiana. But time marches on and its day is done. Next, the ties are painted where the edge of the anchor plates will go. Following along, we see a track sweeper clearing the ties of rock and other debris that could interfere with the anchor plates or the rail itself. Now we see them positioning the anchor plates to be ready for the rail. The quarter mile lengths of welded rail are now lowered into position.
The rail sections will be joined using flash butt welding. Here we see the oxide being removed from the side of the rail so that the welding machine will have good electrical contact. The welding crew makes sure that the rails are in perfect alignment before the welding machine is secured. Flash butt welding runs high current through the rails such that it will arc across the gap between two pieces of rail. The high temperature of the arc literally melts the ends of the rail together. Once the process is complete, what were two sections of rail is now one. After welding, a spiker immediately secures the track. There will be more spikes later. Next comes the rail heater, which warms the rail to 95 degrees which is the proper temperature to anchor the track to deal with future rail expansion and contraction. Following the heater is the anchor machine that both places and squeezes the anchor clips in place. The clips keep the rail from moving lengthwise along the ties. Now the spikers can secure the rails. All of this track work leaves many discarded items. Here we see the rail being gathered and placed in a pile for later removal. Now that the track work is done, the crossing lights and gates need to be tested since they have been retimed for the new 49 mile per hour speeds.